up around It's gotta be my imagination I like it's a new face You have like both I like it's a new face DJ Skinny They not for rap Let's go Who that? Who that? Who that? Who that? Respect the DJ Who that? 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 This is my introduction They say greatness doesn't come overnight So I'm not rushing Spaced out swag Best believe I'm paper touching Super stupid flow And you bitches can't tell them nothing UFO Uniquely flying outstanding All I speak is cash I see why you don't understand UFO Uniquely flying outstanding All I speak is cash I see why you don't understand me Got a sense for drama So I always keep the cannon This is the invasion So watch out for our landing Standing tall Never too far Spring and summer fashion Bro, I get it in the fall Y'all about to start hating And I don't mind at all I'm a thriller like MJ And my flow is off the wall Who that? Who that? It's gotta be my imagination. I think it's a new face. I think it's a new face. I think it's a new face. They not from around here. I think it's a new face. Who they? Who they? They're not from around It's gotta be my imagination. I think it's a new face. I think it's a new face. I think it's a new face. They not from around here. I think it's a new face. Greetings, Earthlings. I am Wallace. I am Wallow, I am Wallow, I live life like there's no tomorrow, Chris King, K-G-N-O-O-B, what homes you ain't know, we're UFO, cargo khakis, polos, and fresh kicks, that's the definition of what the cargo kids is, S-O-S, yes, space style swagger, I never do anything right, I'm backwards, I'm so galactic, so erratic, you niggas on my old swag, you can Middle Tennessee, it's that time of year. Time to laugh presents Columbia Got Jokes Bad Girls of Comedy, November 6th Featuring Cookie Hall Black people and Mexicans, we don't give a damn how high gas is We ain't gonna put but $10 in that motherfucker no way Sweet Baby Kita but I want y'all to know I'm always acting out and doing what I want to do because I know I'm going to be in heaven already. And I know a lot of people like, you already know, yes, they serve Publix cakes and champagne and Chick-fil-A biscuits. Randy Scott. November 6th, doors open at 7 p.m. at the Memorial Building. This is an event you don't want to miss. Get your friends and family together for a night of laughs. Time to Laugh presents Columbia Got Jokes, Bad Girls of Comedy. Call for tickets or go to eventbrite.com. Hey folks, this is Chandler Anderson, the owner of the Right Care Clinics, the walk-in clinic and the primary care clinic. In 2020, my staff ran headfirst into the COVID storm. When many offices were closing and not accepting patients, we not only kept open and continued to see our patients, we actually went to patients' homes to help take care of them to make sure that they got the right care. Many mornings we left home not knowing if we would return. We didn't know a lot about COVID as far as how it would affect healthcare workers. We didn't know a lot about COVID, period. But because we care about our community, we left home every day, came to work, and fought an unknown disease. Now, we're leaving home with another worry. Are we gonna be punched today? Are we gonna be spit on today? Are we gonna be cussed out today? Because now, in 2021, Violence against healthcare workers has climaxed.
Just a few weeks ago, one of my providers and dear friends was punched in the face by a patient. A patient who was angry that we didn't have results of a CT scan that we didn't even order. Guys, violence against healthcare workers has to stop. We can't take care of you all if we're broken. We're working tired, we're working hungry, we're working emotionally devastated by watching all that's going on around us. The last thing we need is for patients, the very people that we come to work every day to take care of, to be violent. I am a wife. I am a mother. I am a daughter. I am a sister. I am an auntie. I am a father. I am a friend. I am a son. And I am somebody. 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 Whoa, what happened to to your eye, Mom? Did a man punch you? No, baby. One of my patients did. Violence against healthcare workers has to stop, and it has to stop now. Livest podcast this side of the Mississippi and the Nile River, live side, blah, 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 blah. Livest podcast this side of the universe. How you doing? It's B. Players mess up too. <laughs> hey, um, welcome to the, the, the mothership. Are we, are we live right now? We are live. The camera just needs to clean it off. Did <laughs> they see that? They do see that. <laughs> I need something to clean it with. <laughs> I do. You got to... <laughs> That's awesome. It just needed to happen. It just happened. needed to happen. It yeah. just happened. It just needed to happen, bro. All right. Yeah. I'm going to take it from the 10 out. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Let's <laughs> start, start this bit from the 10 out. Okay. Yeah. Rewind hey. back. Rewind back. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the Rudan Podcast. We are live on the mothership. This is B. Uh, glad that y'all made it through a whole other week. Thank you for joining us and everything. As you just saw, uh, Paco and his esophagus are here. Uh, <laughs> 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 and we have a great guest this week who came up on the mothership to uh, kick it with us, brought these cool-ass magazines that she publishes herself. You got your own magazine. Yeah. Next level shit. Yeah. Next level shit. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is the one and only Keiko. Hey! Doing a round of applause. Oh, <laughs> oh, snap that. Oh, snap. It's still on the back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you bust it. Yeah. Now, that's nice. Yes. Quality. Now, you can tell us. Now, you know how you pick yeah. up a magazine yeah. 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 and it's yeah. mm-hmm. the pages is thick yeah. and it's got, what they call that, that, uh, it's deal. almost like card stock. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Real deal. Yep. Yeah, we ain't playing no games over here. <laughs> we ain't playing no games over here. So, how y'all doing? We good. How we about good. you? I'm doing all right. We doing good? All right. Yeah. That's what's yeah. up. That's what's up. Have you had an eventful week, Park? Anything happen? Um, I just been on a production tip, and uh, you know, we did that uh, like infomercial for healthcare violence. We played yes. it at the beginning of the episode. Important. Yeah. Important. Yeah. yeah, violence against healthcare workers. People yes. beating up their nurses and their doctors yes. and yes. and everything. Yes. So, but yeah, we aired that. It aired on the news. It's been getting good traction. So that's been my week. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, how about nothing you? eventful? But since he brought up, you know, healthcare violence, um, you know, I also work in healthcare. Oh, I okay. myself am a nurse with my master's degree. Oh, so okay. you know, I'm just not beauty. I'm brains too. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's important to know that um, healthcare workers do uh, 
go through balance with patients, not only patients, but with their family. Right. Um, and it's important to understand that the stress that they're carrying right now because of COVID is so overwhelming. Overworked? That family, mm. Overworked, yes, yes, for go sure. Ahead, go ahead. So. Families take out all their frustrations on the staff because of COVID not being able to be with their family members, mm-hmm. not being able to get inside places they used to could get into. Mm-hmm. And so now the healthcare workers are not only taking it uh, mentally, they're taking it physically. So I always look out for the healthcare workers and, you know, I'm always on the healthcare worker side, so. Right. That's what's right. That's what's it's, up. It's, it's, it's been really yeah. stressful for them on a level that, like, not only are they dealing with at work, but the at home part yes. where kids, they if you got kids, number one, they're having to leave school for a week, two weeks at a time, you know, then you got to figure out how you're going to juggle that yes. with trying to work the 12 hours because they don't want nurses to work eight. They want yes. you guys in there 12 now, and. You know, it's just, it's a lot. So be mindful. Please yes, be mindful. Yes. Mm-hmm. So how was your week? My week was, uh, it was cool. It was busy. It was very long. It was extremely <laughs> long. I thought it was Thursday, like, I, twice. I know, me too. Yeah. Like, really? Oh, Thursday, really. a sequel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I got through it. It was cool. Uh, DJ at a fall festival yesterday. Was that yesterday? think so yeah okay been a long week okay. but dj the fall festival in franklin at the johnson um elementary school thank you guys for having me cool, i really appreciate cool, cool. that that was nice and fun and, and see i didn't like you dj oh you, you taught me oh yeah. wow okay. yeah cool. we started DJing cool. last year i've got a plethora thing. Thing. okay 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 <laughs> last year we started doing a club who that where we would uh every thursday we would go live and just play music. Okay. So like from there, I just like he started showing me like if you do that, that does. I'm like, all right. So by the end of the pandemic, I kind of could work my way around it. Okay. And then we got booked for some weddings. Off of the live. Oh wow, wedding. That's, yeah. that's serious. When you get booked for a wedding, that's serious because if you messed up at the wedding, I know, right? you know it's a problem. It's right? They're gonna tell the next person, do not. Yeah. You know, so that's cool. So we had doing a couple that. good good weddings, and I always wanted to get to the point where I could I can. Uh, DJ the cookout. Okay. I could successfully do cook. that, and then you in there. Yes. Yes. Yeah, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. and I feel like I I've hit that that point now. Okay. I don't need to like DJ in a big old club. With okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I DJ. That would be fun. Too. That would be fun too. But yeah. if I'm just happen to be at at any random cookout and they're like, man, somebody put something on. <laughs> <laughs> I learned I learned to DJ. I was in high school when I learned to DJ. Okay. And I, man, I I had opportunities to DJ my own proms, my own dances, oh, while, wow. you know, so I was paid to be there. Okay. And um and then I stopped for a while. Okay. So when he showed an interest in it, that's when I showed him and we kind of brought it back to life i had all the equipment everything i bought some a couple new things to add to it but we just went there you go. and from club who that it just it exploded from there there you yeah. go club yeah. who that yeah, yeah. We might be djing uh you been in lewisburg um time to eat have i been to lewisburg yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah i've been to lewisburg I'm just, you know I, i'm not gonna lie say i've been to a time to eat because mm-hmm. i have not been there you know i've heard you know a lot of things Shaking there, but right, you know, right, I haven't right. really been in there, so I'm gonna make it down there. Well, now, y'all let me know when you're DJing down there, mm-hmm. and, okay? Yeah. And, I, and I show up, definitely. Yeah, and they, they, they got excellent do. food. It was, right. okay. I ordered some wings, cool. and like you know, a lot of places you get just them average wings. Yeah, yeah. But no, I got I got home, I okay. brought them all the way home. Okay. I warmed them up a little bit, and I ate them, and they were busting. Okay. I was like, oh wow, okay. okay, this is you know, this is real. Cool. I'm a fan of any place that got chicken. Yeah, I love chicken. I love water. Pancake. <laughs> pancake. I'm a pancake. You a pancake? You an No, I don't really care for IHOP. I like Cracker Barrel pancakes. Okay, okay. Cracker yeah. Barrel pancakes is the one, you yeah, know, I so, you know. Have you again. tried do pancakes? I need to get there. I haven't gotten there yet. You gotta I go do that. Okay, I gotta do that. Yeah, you I pass it all the time while going uh, from do that way when I be going out to meet Oh, I miss them. Yeah, we, we did a food review, and I got pancakes when we went. Okay, yeah. it's the same. Okay, oh, yeah. oh, cool. We did food reviews. Oh, yeah. I, then I'm about to go do a review over there. Yes. Yeah. 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 Don't lie. I have not, but I need to start doing some. Let's do one together. Okay. All three of us. Okay, cool. We can go. Yes. That's the day, child. We're doing yeah. a review on 
Wherever. 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 We, we eat all types of food. <laughs> yeah. His his variety is way more than mine. Okay. But I still like I'm, from being around him. I'm like, all right, I'll try it. Okay. Yeah. And I'll try anything too. I, I mean, yeah. I'm a seafood connoisseur. Connoisseur. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but I eat anything, and I love all food too. Right. So you know, just okay. no tomatoes. I don't do tomatoes. I don't no like tomatoes. tomatoes. But I do eat ketchup. Oh, that's well. Yeah, I can see. I can see that. I can see that. That do you eat salsa? Yes, I eat salsa. See, and now, I'm, now I'm weird. Yeah, now, like, yeah, yeah, I'm a little weird, but I just can't do a real tomato. Right, the yeah. tomato. But I can do the fake, like, cut up little stuff. I can do yeah, all that. Stewed but, tomatoes. Yeah, I ain't going to eat the stew. No, you do the stew. Okay. No, no, no. But a salsa, I love a good salsa and a good mix. Okay. Salsa, so. I love salsa, but I don't do tomatoes or ketchup. Yep. Oh. I just, he don't do mayonnaise. He'll do, do pork. He'll do ranch. You got to do mayonnaise, though. No. Like, so mayonnaise is in everything. No, it's not. not mayonnaise is what makes no, everything. It's, it's in everything. I have a compiled list of non-mayonnaise <laughs> foods that are my diet. Uh, uh, yeah. So y'all knew he was when y'all seen him. <laughs> yes. Y'all already knew we didn't even have to say nothing. I know, right? What do you call it with the ish? With the ish. <laughs> ish. He's the reason we come on at 6 p.m. ish. It was ish. Yeah. yeah. K. Cole, y'all. K. Cole was on time almost. I was almost on time, but this one. <laughs> this spot, we're going to blame him today. couple shout-outs real quick. Shout-out to Eminem Plus. <laughs> Thank you for watching. They also said shout-out from the Teamsters from Virginia. Yeah. That's the union. Remember we did the episode from the union? Yeah. They were watching in Virginia. The Teamsters. Yes. Shout Last out time to I heard about the Teamsters, you. I was watching Casino. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, so kind of uh, for anybody who doesn't know who you are. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and yeah. take the floor. Okay. Right. Well, again, my name is Kay Cole. Um, here from Columbia, Tennessee. Um, I always say I'm from Nashville most of the time. So people be like, where you from? I'm from Nashville. And sometimes my hometown get mad. Uh, and let me explain the reason why I say that. Because when I say Columbia, most people don't even know where that's at. And, and I don't feel like going through all the rigor Romeo or trying to Bond to it or right. explain it. Yeah. yeah. So I just say Nashville. But everybody know it knows me. I love my hometown, Columbia, Tennessee. Uh, it's been great to me. Um, so when it comes to my modeling, I started about, say, three years now um, with my manager, Von Donald. Um, I actually was doing some photo shoots, and it was the first one was actually the magazine you're holding. Right. Oh, this was my first. I don't know if y'all can see that. That's a bust and shoot. But my yeah. very <laughs> first photo shoot that I did uh, with Vaughn and actually got on the cover of a magazine for my very first photo shoot, and then I fell in love. It was over with after that. So once that happened, uh, I'm sorry. Once that happened, I was like, okay, well, what more can I do? Right. Um, so I started to do a little bit more of uh, print modeling and also started to do some runways uh, and have been in a couple of fashion shows. Uh, haven't did none recently, um, but I still enjoy doing those as well. And it kind of kept going from there. I started to um, get into a little bit of the rapping business, which is something that I always wanted to do. You know, I was like, when I was a kid, I was always kind of rapping, and my mom was like, you can't be no rapper. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but mom, I like to rap. What did your mom do? My mom said that I had to go to school. No, no, what did she session. do for a living? My mom, oh, she just was a, a worker. Oh, okay, okay, no, okay. No, she wasn't in no particular field. My mama kind of was like a home, stay-at-home mom. I was just making sure she was like a pastor or something. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm not, no, no, I'm not no pastor. <laughs> <laughs> I may sing like I am, but I'm not. Because uh, they're the worst ones. Oh, yeah. Sorry, yeah. pastor kids, y'all know. Yeah. Pastor know. kids are shameful. We're, 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 we're not talking about you. We're not talking about you. But uh, you know. at the same time, my mama told me to go out and, and uh, get a profession. Right. So that's why I went into nursing and became a nurse. But um, being an artist has always been uh, something in the back of my mind right. uh, and was not able to do that because I had to work and, and do other things to fulfill those in my life first. Mm -hmm. And so now, you know, as a entrepreneur of all things, because I love entertainment, not just one part, all parts. Right. Uh, and I want to get into actual acting. And I did a couple things, nothing major, just a couple little spots here and there and some commercials. But my, my main goal is just to be out there, you know, right. all over the place. But I do have um, a lot of uh, support from everyone all over the place, especially in the uh, rapping world. Right, right. Uh, rapping world. Yeah, I get what you're saying, though. Lord, y'all know I'm a little <laughs> tipsy. This is actually not a joke. <laughs> when, I, when I made the flyer, yes. I was like, 
I was trying to think of where I put, I put model, entrepreneur, artist. Yes. And I was like, she has so much going on. Yes. I cannot just yeah. be like, and you know what? I, I love how you did that because right. that really spoke of me. Right. Because not, I'm not just one sided, I'm multifaceted in all ways from learning to also entertainment. You know right. what I'm saying? So a person can be real rounded in all those things and still be good at, at them all if they choose to be. Right, right. Uh, you can't be perfect in them all, but I'm, I'm good at them all. Uh, but the music thing has really come on to me. Like, it really just has changed the way I see rappers nowadays because, you know, when you go out there and you be like, these people, they rapping about nothing but sex, balance, and money and drugs. Don't drink, don't smoke. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and no, say it. No, 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 I'm not even going to say that. But I <laughs> okay. understand why. Right. If you don't kind of follow the trend, and I'm not saying I don't go against the trends because I do, but also if you don't follow, it kind of makes it hard to be an outsider right. in the uh, music industry because mm -hmm. if you're different, they come at you harder, stronger, people reject you more, right. mm -hmm. uh, so it's easier to sell about sex, drugs, mm -hmm. money, because it's been selling for Years, right, right, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's been selling for years. Uh, that's one of the biggest sales of all times is sex, drugs, drugs yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, people speak about that because that's been going on since the ages, but at the same time, I do want to be a little different and throw in, you know, a little different things uh, about learning other things besides those, uh, right? Key mm -hmm. things, too. So, right. and people they need to realize that the rap game it's, it's an art of storytelling, yes. It's not necessarily just, you know, go do this, go do that. But it's a, it's a storytelling. They're telling you a story. They're selling you an experience. Yes. You know, yes. Back, back in the day, NWA and all that, they didn't even have any records as far as, like, criminal records or anything until they became big. Yeah. Big. Yeah. Like, by their, like, yeah. third album. Yeah. Art of storytelling. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, nowadays they want people to have street cred but not have bars. Yeah. yeah. Music is all fucked up. Yeah, it's, it's backwards. Yeah. It's backwards. But it's about selling. Yeah. You know, it's about what can you do to make it sell. So, as you know now, it's all about reality TV. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I'm it's definitely it. trying to get into that. Yeah. Uh, and have a look. We'll, we'll do business. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, though, you yeah. know, it's, it's, it's over with now. We, we stuck. So, <laughs> you know, you can't get rid of me. But I do want to go ahead. I am curious, though, like, okay. what made you want to start your own magazine? So, I that's really cool. you know, uh, it was a so thought that I, I, I actually cool. thought I couldn't start my own magazine because I thought it was going to be so complicated. But having a manager such as Vaughn, I didn't have to do anything. Just show up, take some pictures, and boom, there you go. Vaughn had it all worked out for me. So, really, it was not, yeah. it was just the putting in the work for it. Mm -hmm. uh, because you can get the magazine done. You got to go through these steps and all this stuff. Uh, and I'm working on getting them in stores and all that kind of stuff too as well. Nice. Uh, so it's it's because right now this is on my website. So you go on there and you can What's from my website? on my you oh, my YouTube on my Instagram K Cole the model. You go on my Instagram and there's a tree link that shows you all my magazines as well as all the other things that I have such as YouTube, Facebook, and all those other things that I do. Okay. So not only do I have a magazine for myself, which is one of the ones here as well, and it's a double. Face, so it's got two people on there, one on the front and one on the back. I also and do this a, one. Yes, a Hulu is on the back. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. He got in. You know, he, he got in. Very so you know, and I was excited out. for Shout him because home up. team on the on on the back. So yes. we, yeah. we taking over. But I also do motorcycles too. So uh, I be on, and this one here is actually mine. But uh, that's your bike. No. Oh. No. I can't oh. ride like that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, this is just you know part of my magazine too. But Bike Culture magazine, they have bikes in it. They have badass bikes, all kind of bikes that you can ride. So. Uh, bike Culture magazine. Bike Bike Culture magazine. Yeah. yeah. This is this is actually uh one of my friends, Mooney from Atlanta. This is his bike. Oh, wow. Uh, badass. His brother owns the motorcycle shop in Atlanta called uh, Sound Pro. Okay. One of the hottest. 
you know, shops in Atlanta. So people in Atlanta know Sam Pro very, very well. Have you, you worked tried there a few times? Haven't yes, you? I have. Oh, have wow. you tried reaching out to the motorcycle? Was it motorcycle entertainment television? I have not. The girl that runs that uh-huh. used to live here. She had to go It was a uh, okay. Win Dixie. Okay. okay. She, had, she had like the motorcycle entertainment. Okay. It was, it was a lot of stuff she had. Okay. But you should reach out. If I you, need. If you're deep in the culture, yes. then she would probably like you to reach okay. out. I, I would definitely do that. I'm glad that you brought that up for yes. sure. Because, I, I mean, I have quite a, a bit of people that I work with. A lot of the guys I work with out in Atlanta, some of them St. Louis. Uh, this guy on this magazine was the one from St. Louis. He yes. actually, uh, what's his, uh, he owns a bike shop too as well. Uh, Get his name. I feel bad now. I don't forget that man's name. Saint Louis. Yeah, uh, he actually went with Wendy. Yeah, that's <laughs> what we went. Uh, that's crazy. It's Bagger. He has a, a bike shop. He's a bagger. Uh, they oh. call get the bag. I think he's a... Yeah, we yeah, know him. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay. yes. And he builds bikes and everything. Right, yes. Because yes. yes. the whole time I'm looking at the cover, I'm like, I think I, I saw this bike. And yeah. bike so <laughs> I mean, the, the bike is so big. Look at me yeah. on the bike. Like, the bike this is, is so definitely, big. I have pictures yeah. of this we bike. We have video footage yeah, of yeah. that bike. Okay. Very custom baggers. Yes. 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 We have a whole interview. Yes. yes. Oh, wow. A whole interview. Yes, they can get you in touch with us. Yes, yes. They're all connected. Wow. Small. Small, small world, world. Yeah. yeah, small world. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and so and when I started doing my magazine once again uh, with Vaughn, then I started working with different designers as well. So I also feature designers in my magazine, and this is one is Shalon Denham. This mm. lady is out of uh, Atlanta. Uh, when you say designers, are you talking clothing? Clothing designers. Okay, clothing yes, designers. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, and, I mean, they make their own clothes. Not, yeah. you know, no fake. they real designers. Right. Uh, man, yeah, yeah. like. Seamstress. Yeah. They sewing it. If yeah. you got it on your body and it ain't fitting right, they, they fix it on your body. You yeah. know, that type of work. Mm-hmm. But um, I have done a couple shoots with some really good designers. And one guy, he just made me feel like a Barbie doll. All I had to do was just stand there. He just put my clothes on. Right. Like that. It, it was one of the most amazing shows. I mean, I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> I didn't have to go with no ideas or nothing. Like, he basically, and that's what's so freeing is sometimes I can just sit back and let other people do what they do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Help their vision come to life. Right. And, and that's what I do for the designers is help bring about their visions. It's not about me when I put on those clothes. It's about their clothing and me just being in it to present it. Do you know what I'm saying? As an ultra entrepreneur, doesn't it feel good to take a back seat sometimes? It does. You'd be it like, does. oh, thank yeah. you. Please, please take the reins. I'm gonna go to sleep back here. Yeah. You know? I'm gonna go to sleep. It is. Yes. When, when you're the player maker, sometimes it feels good to not be that person. Yes, yes, so, yes, yes, yes. Now you said you did you did runway and yes. you did some print. Yes. So I try as a photographer, I try and explain to people like you the difference with runway and print. Okay. Like like a lot of people think you have to have this certain body style to model no. and all that no. stuff. No, 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 and I'm like, most of the time, that's just for designers yes. on the runway to fit something yes. they've already made, yes. not yes. custom. Yes. For you. yes, yes, yes. You can model yes. doing print and be any body style and be anything. I tell yes. I tell my models all I can't do is Photoshop a cute face. Yes, you yes. know what yes. I mean. Yes. And, and a lot of it's photoshopping. Yes. And I tell people like I don't want to be photoshopped. Right. Kim Kardashian is photoshopping. Yes. She has one of the best bodies that are that is made. Not. Originally, right, <laughs> made, that you know? yeah, that's made. And I ain't no problem, I got some manufactured parts, that's too. All right. but at the same time, uh, if she can photoshop and, and be good with it, anybody can. And I also, you know, every little nook and cranny, sometimes you got to do it depending on what you got right. on, or, or it might be bubbling out on the side, you right. got to fix stuff. So, uh, there's nothing wrong with it, but when it comes to modeling, either way, print or runway. There's a variety of women, and everybody's looking for different size women, not just one size fits all. Right. Now, if you're going to Milan, yeah, you got to be this stick figure right. because I can't even go there and make it. I mean, you know, because they have a different type of a woman that they're looking for, and each person does. And, and, and that's for men. Men are all looking for different type of women. Yes. So one because them stick figures in Milan don't be nothing. No, 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 you know, but but in clothes they make a lot of clothes look good because it's not about their shape; it's just about them being in the clothes once again. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times it's not about body shame at all. It's just yes. fitting that yes. that outfit yes. is the most cost efficient yes. size of this yes. way, yes. and they've got to find somebody to fit that. Yes, it ain't got yes. nothing to do with yes. you and your booty. No, okay? no there's too much booty is making it. Take away from the outfit. Yeah. Sometimes that's why they they want those people in them. So I right. understand. 
I'm all about the more ass to marry. Oh, yeah, yeah, ain't nothing wrong with a little ass. From the outfit for me. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with a little ass. You got too much outfit. You got too much ass for the outfit. Change the outfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the ass. You know, to change it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. So, what was the inspiration for uh, some of the music that you put out? So, my inspiration basically is just me. Uh, and some of the things I've been through, um, I, some of my songs I write about, uh, the things that I've done, uh, where I've been, like, to St. Louis, because I performed in St. Louis. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was my first performance, was actually in St. Louis. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah. Great, and I was yeah. terrified. <laughs> um, because uh, my manager has said, he said, either they love you or they hate you. Yeah. He said, and if they hate you, they will let you know. Ooh, no. And I said, what? So I got no on stage mercy, no and um, I wasn't even ready to perform they that day. Like St. Louis, but we got good too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like that, 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 they go. Like these people are very in your face. They don't yeah. care. Yeah. You know, they gonna let you know. But uh, when I got on that stage oh, and and they said, okay, you're gonna be our, our open up at, I'm gonna be what? I didn't even know. Right. My manager didn't even tell me, and I think he did that on purpose just so I wouldn't be like no. Right. So once he said that, I, I couldn't say no. I just had to get up and perform. So Sick I did. Swim. Yeah, and I swam. Well, good job. Very well. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> and it made me a better person for that uh, on that stage too as mm-hmm. well because now you know it's not about you're gonna always have nerves. That's just uh-huh. part of it. And if you don't. You need to get out of it because it's supposed to make you feel some kind of energy inside. Right. Uh, and it might not be mm-hmm. just a nervous energy, but a, a, a energy that needs to get you lifted to move. Exactly. Uh, and so when I no, felt that good. inside, it was like, okay, this, I love the stage. You know, and that's what really brought about the rapping for me was once I did that, it was like, I want to do more of this. I want to get on mm-hmm. more stages and, and, and perform a whole lot more. Well, the problem was COVID hit. Mm. So once COVID hit, it, it changed yeah, everything, yeah, yeah. and I couldn't yeah. get out there the way that I wanted to get out there uh, and perform. So it had shut down a lot of clubs at I that didn't time. Think about that. Yeah, yeah. Up and coming. Yeah, down. when yeah. I had first got out there, that's that's I, I was man, I was hitting it, and then boom, COVID. Everything. Everything changed, changed. Uh, and then it was okay at first. You know, you just had to wear masks and stuff like that. But then the whole world just went on complete shutdown. Right. And a lot of people did not recoup. From that, they still stay closed, or you know, whatever the case may be. No more twenty-four yeah, hours. Yeah, none of that oh. stuff. So I, I lost a lot of uh, time. Right. Uh, and there was a lagging time, so I went on to do other things that I could do, which such as the magazine mm-hmm. uh, and print modeling and stuff that was still going on without having to be in close proximity with people where we didn't have to shut everything down. Because like, right. reality TV had to shut down, you know, right. because you couldn't do, you couldn't film, you couldn't do nothing. But the doors are back open and hopefully stays that way so I can continue to perform my music and show the world uh, what K. Cole has to offer when it comes to the this, music industry. You had to get creative. 2020, I always tell him, 2020 was a year to hustle. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You had to get creative. You got a different way. Will Smith yeah. got super great. He yeah. produced a show, two shows now yes. from his home. Yes. And that's it. Yes. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yes. So. And shit. that brought about so much controversy. Oh, yes. But they knew when to do it. They, yeah. they knew. Come they, on, let me strategize. You know, that's how you do. You got to strategize. You yes. got to use everything. It, 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 even if it includes your own personal business that you want no one else to know. Right. Uh, when you in this business, people want to make you real. They want to make you be just as... Touchable. Yeah, yeah. The, the same way as them. If you have no emotions and you're just a fixed character... Uh, and that's one thing. You know, I, I love Beyonce. That's one of my inspirations. By all means, I love her to death. But it's like she's kind of like untouchable. She's kind of mm-hmm. like when you see her in her picture, she's not like a, someone like Cardi B who's more yeah. personable, more the sa- yeah, the same as me came from the same thing I came from. Right. Uh, Beyonce just seems like they're just so, up uh, you know, they're here and we can never get to where she's at. And not saying that we can't, but the way they present themselves, they don't seem like they're just human. Right. You know, have and you I, seen the Genesis Diamond commercial with him and uh, I mean with Jay Z and Beyonce? Yes, it's it's a slick and fabulous commercial. Yes, yes, yes. It's very elegant. Yes, yes. anyway, very so. elegant. <laughs> but, no, but it's, that's what I'm saying. I I love both of them, right. but where they're at now makes them more not relatable to us regular people. Right. And even when you see them on a picture, they even look non-relatable as opposed right. to seeing Cardi B. 
and, and offset together. They look right. like you can relate to them. You look like you could actually walk up and maybe speak, and they might say hello yeah. without just looking at you like you're crazy. They you look like that slick still might be buying food. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 like it. He yeah. might be yeah. new for it. You know, Obama yeah. look like you know, you smell a new for yeah. water. Now, around. Obama, he, you know, he Obama probably, do, look, Obama look, look. do look like he the type of can I hit that real quick? Yeah. But he wouldn't do that now because he wouldn't see that now. Yeah, yeah. But they come out no. here hating on no. Obama. You know they got to no. do that. No, man. No. <laughs> Obama's not going to tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my boy Obama. Lord, yeah. take it back. But yeah, anyway. I'll, I'll mention him tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was hilarious. The president smoking what was that held and Kumar they did the parody of yeah. W. Bush smoking yeah, yeah, yeah. that was great too and believable it was very believable it was the most likable I've ever seen George W. Bush let, let me ask y'all this though did y'all watch Kim Kardashian on Saturday Night Live I have not you have not watched it I have not I watched a little bit of it yeah yeah it was a little rough for me was it it was cause she's not a actor she's a reality star right she can be herself but when it comes to acting and then some of the jokes she made kind of were kind of jabbing so hard. It was like, uh, I don't think you should have said that. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. But she jabbed at everybody. Now she, they okay. they jabbed at the whole family on the because you got to on Saturday Night Live. You you gonna you gonna come with the jokes or you not? Right. But I, this is the way that she delivered. It was not. Um, I, I I mean I watched it. She's and she's great at what she does. But it was it's not what I thought it was gonna be. So I didn't throw that in there. Yeah. Not, not everybody commit. Comedy is almost about like timing, how you say yeah, things. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not every delivery, yeah. not everybody has got that yeah. in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My she son tells that. jokes all day, and I just be like, boy, one day you'll get this timing down, and it might be good, but right now this shit is rough. <laughs> <laughs> rough. So I love him. Do you laugh at him? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to give him the love. Okay, but okay. I'm just I, I got to take love. <laughs> I got to be tough. I always get a tough love, right? Because if we don't give it, then you're out in these streets not yeah. knowing. Yeah. Yeah. Let me yeah. tell you right now what, is, yeah. what it is. I'm a jokester sometimes when I'm with my homegirl, Angie, because I have to put it on her rough sometimes, too. <laughs> yeah. on her all day. She know how I do with her, so. I, yeah. I'm, I'm rough on my kids a little bit. Not rough, but tough. Just because when they get that first unprecedented fuck you from somebody, I don't want them to be like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah. right. Because it's going to happen. It happens to everybody. It yes. does. The Pope has got to fuck you from somebody. It does. Oh, yes. Yeah. It does. Yes, the Pope gets more fuck yous than the Yeah, than the average. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I haven't even heard about the Pope in, in, a, in a while. Because he's been here, right? Has, a lot of people saying fuck you to that guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, being quiet. see, I ain't been watching the news. See, all, all I watch is Netflix. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I did a watch Netflix. The news, yeah, I don't even watch nothing but Netflix. I listen to music and try to write my own music. Because uh, while I got the downtime, I'm trying to write more and more and more. Yeah. Uh, and trying to, you know, get better in my, my craft yeah. at writing. Because uh, writing can be very difficult. Yeah. In, in any aspect, be it music or either uh, uh book or you know storytelling mm-hmm. or just doing like a podcast coming right. up with segments you know writing can be very tough sometimes so yeah. I'm trying to focus more on that nowadays instead of the television because it's just full of right so where do you uh, want to go with the acting though do you want so my thing is acting wise I just want to get this is you know my whole life I see have you thought about like doing like the skits that you see like on you know Instagram TikTok that type of stuff I, I've been trying to Get with those, okay. Mm-hmm. See this, the TikTok. See, here we go with the TikTok. <laughs> the TikTok. The TikTok. You know, it's so many avenues out there. So you went from Facebook, from Facebook to Twitter to Instagram. Now you got TikTok. Then you got Snapchat. Snapchat. Then you got YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> and what's what's one more other one? I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I'm so savvy with it. I share my shit to LinkedIn. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah. honestly, so it's so many things out there now. And now to do the TikToks is all about repetition. The same person yes. doing something. So my thing is I'm actually not really into doing a TikTok. I want to be a TikTok. That's I want to take my music and make it a TikTok. Make a dance. For, I was you know what I'm saying? Say it. So if somebody... <laughs> Can make a TikTok. Let's, let's get together. Let's, let's make K Cole right. a TikTok. You know what I'm saying? That everybody want to do. So, but anyway, that's that's my goal when it comes to TikTok. But but as far as television, I just want to do it all. I mean, there's no no certain 
a rhyme or reasoning to what I want to do. Uh, I just like, I guess I'm a Pisces. So oh. sometimes I'm a, and I'm a fish. So sometimes I'm all over the place. I can't just be in one streamline. I like to swim off a little bit and come back. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah, yeah. understand. <laughs> I'm getting tired of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> my season Aquarius, you know how we do, know, you know. Man. But know. It, days you know, your mind be all over the place. You want to do 25 things, but you only can do one at a time. You got to pick and choose. But if you could see the text message thread that I just, while I'm at work, yeah. I'll text him about something from the podcast. Then this idea I got for a cartoon. Oh, then oh, we got the new merch that? coming out. And, yeah, it is. It's crazy. Yeah, and then hey, yo, go through this playlist that I just made because I'm, I'm thinking about doing a doing this playlist for the DJ. See, but also, you, it must be him keeping you in line. Oh God, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah somebody has yeah. to keep you in line. But See, that's I'm, okay. a, I'm a Libra. Yeah, so okay. You know that. You know what I mean. Everybody's yeah. got to be balanced. Yeah, you go. You and that's be, and that's why you got to have the opposite of each other, and that, and that makes it work because when it comes to art. Art is so wide open. And when you're an artist, so many things come into your mind as oh. far as just anything. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You, you want to do so much as an artist. Uh, and you want to make times. people understand what you're saying without saying it, which is another thing, you know, with artists. We always want everybody to understand what we're saying, and we don't, but we really ain't saying nothing. Right. But we want them to understand, you know. But yeah. anyway, yeah. that's how it always is. Yeah. So yeah. it's cool, it's cool. And I'll get excited and like just want to. Go for Take it. Take off. No yeah. planning. No planning. For what? Yeah. <laughs> what? Plan for what? For what? For we what? got a plan. When we get there, we're going to knock the door down. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Wait, and leave the hinges when you get there? Yeah, all of that. <laughs> and then we're As an entrepreneur, no. yes. tell this man. Okay. You can only you can only take something so high with yes. no planning. Yes. And some you don't have time. to plan. I mean, you know, in reality, we wish there was not a plan, but you can finagle your way through a little bit. But at some point, to take it to the next level, you have to start planning. You have to. You know, man. you have you to. You have to. Because the gatekeepers are there, and but they want the plan. It's, 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 not, it's not that they won't. They gonna make you have a plan. Yes. Or the door will not open. See, I like just going. There's no way. Yeah. And it's like okay. When we, did, when we did like the, all right, I'm cool with a plan once we already know we, like, all right, we got the fun out the way. So, like, we start doing the play of who that? Yeah. We just going to do it. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, do we have permission to play this music? Is Facebook going to shut us yeah. down? Yeah. I didn't mind. Let's go live. Like, yeah. let's just do it. And, 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 you know, and that's okay. But at some point, to continue to grow. Exactly. You got to have this yeah. telling you, hey, hey, yeah. let's do it this I way. I make sure we have fun. Yeah. I, I grab the bottle back of the collar like a cartoon. All right, exactly. 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 like, hey, man, let's do this. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's how you got to do a photo like that. Like, yeah. him running and you grab yeah, the just stop. <laughs> yeah, just stop. It's literally, it's literally. Yeah, yeah. all wheel he, he had an idea for uh, one of the pages. I was going to change it yeah. on Facebook. Yeah. And he had the idea. He was like, yo, it'd be cool if we did this. I'm like, yeah, let's do that now. And he just was staring at me. And I finally looked up. He was like, we don't have a name for it, Brandon. Oh, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to change it to Brandon. You know branding is everything. Yeah. If you're, if you're not, and that's why I, I tell people. It, I was going to call it that new cool shit that we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody would know, but uh, uh, it wouldn't matter. But if you don't brand correctly, no matter how much work you put into it, um, you won't get the the love and support that it deserves. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, and that's just in reality. And if people feel a certain way about you, you also don't get the love and support that you deserve. Right. So just like for me, um, stepping out from being a professional nurse to to, to being on a magazine with a bathing suit right. uh, or, or, or uh, like this one. Love that. Being like, you know, being like this with no shirt on, I, I get a lot of uh, criticism because it's like people don't know that person, you know, from right. who I am uh, originally because I'm working, that's my nine to five, and then I change, you know, until this becomes my everyday focus, you know, and, it, and now it is, you know, before I had to make sure the bills were paid, but now I don't have to just do that. Right. I can focus on being this creative uh, artist that I have really been destined to be, um, but at the same time, when it comes to branding yourself, you have to make sure people understand what it is you're trying to sell. If they don't understand what you're trying to sell, you, you just might as well throw it in the garbage right. can. So. Right, it's just throwing it. I, yeah. I tell people it's a, it's a swimming pool 
of all these products. Yes. And if you don't do it correctly, it's just like throwing a product in yes. the swimming pool. Yes. Maybe somebody will pick it up. Maybe they yes. won't. Yes. You can't do that. It's too much time yes. wasted nowadays. Yeah. You know? It definitely is. So. Let me ask you guys this. You know this month is Breast Cancer Awareness. Yeah. Um, yes. Did y'all do anything for Breast Cancer Awareness? We have not uh, this year. Okay. But okay. we did do a breast cancer awareness shoot where we did the, the body painting. Yes. It was all oh, I remember that. Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. I did a, a photo shoot not too long ago, uh, breast cancer awareness, where I had some gloves on my hand. My breasts were out, you know what I'm saying, right. breast cancer. And I had a ring on. I was wondering if anybody was standing up and saying breast cancer sucks. Uh, I had like a lollipop uh, ring on, and I'm like, you know, to the artist people. Right. And looking at yeah. it and see if they'll get it because I had a breast and then cancer across my arm, you know, and then with the ring on. Right. But uh, it's very important, you I know. Think I think you uh, reposted that. You should, you I, I just it, posted it. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's one of my funny. recent pictures for uh, breast cancer. My auntie had breast cancer. Uh, and so it was a really a tribute to her uh, and women that are struggling with breast cancer because not only does it affect you uh, physically, it affects you mentally. Yeah. Uh, it can lower a woman's self-esteem uh, when you have to go through and get a mastectomy, which is taking one of the breasts off because you have cancer in it. Right. And mm -hmm. some women choose not to go back and have plastic surgery and get you know their breasts fixed. Right. So that can take away a woman's uh, sexuality as well because, you know, those are important. Even though they're not made for that, they're made for breastfeeding the baby. Right. Right. But you, it become a of sex course. symbol over yeah. so many years. So when a woman sees their cells, they're like, oh, my breast, I don't have my breast, I'm not a real woman. And then they go through the therapy, which is causing radiation causes them to lose their hair and stuff right. like that. So it's, it's very important, I tell <coughs> you, to check their breasts um, every month when they're in the shower um, to just notice any changes that may occur uh, while, you know, it's early. Because once it's too late, it's, it's too late. You know, right. there's no going back sometimes. Uh, and not only takes your breasts, it takes your life. So maybe we should do do another shoot. Yeah. We don't have time to do the episode, but we can we can do the shoot. Yeah, you yeah, can do something together. Yeah. yeah, because I mean, you know, what? it's yeah. so many women that struggle. Yeah, three ideas. Right? Yeah. Sure. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, yeah. That's it. You know what I'm saying? She'll call me yeah. in, in an hour and a half yeah, from yeah, now yeah. and be like, hey, I'm set up the shoot. Yeah. I'm like, we have no models. Yeah. <laughs> we have no models. What are we shooting? Hey. I'm, like, I, I'm just telling you, I got it yeah, set up. Yeah, set yeah. Up. yeah. We got set it up. Other parts we got to work with. Yeah. I just want to throw that out to make sure everybody understand breast cancer. Um, not just for the month of October, it should be every month because it's important, but cancer in itself. Right. Uh, because cancer is everywhere. Uh, carcinogens is everywhere. Like when we go mm -hmm. to a cookout, most people want what? The food to be what? Hot out of the grill. Not hot, but I won't oh. mind burnt. Oh, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. won't mind burn my hot dog. First of all, I don't want to burn hot dog. You eat those. But yeah. I'm not eating it. But it's full of carcinogens. Yeah. That's cancer causing. Right. The meat, oh. processed meat has cancer in them. So cancer is all, all around us. Your water, if you live in Murray County, has cancer. The water be good, though. It be tasting real good at my refrigerator. I don't know about yours. <laughs> <laughs> I need a filter on mine. Are those cancer you know, filters? <laughs> are those <laughs> cancer? You know, let me come up with that. Right. You know, hey, you need that idea. It's million, billion dollars. Yeah, billion. I'll be a billionaire instantly. That's true. You know? we, we would be a billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> we, if you see this collaborative idea, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> No, seriously though, it, everything has it in there. So I say not only women but men, because men get colon I'm gonna, cancer. I'm gonna make a million selling the bootlegs. The bootlegs. <laughs> <laughs> he would. I always gotta come with the bootlegs. Get me outside the bathroom. I'm in a warehouse with a defective. This shit. filter say K A Y. -O. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, That's the K A Y code filter. It's not just the K. The yeah, real got K. We got the K by itself. Yes. <laughs> what kind of shit is this? <laughs> K A Y code. <laughs> but see, I feel like I feel like them the entrepreneurs that that have those yeah. lines, the the off brand, the knockoff shit, yeah. they still produce. Oh, they still. But that's that's how people survive. Yeah. Because you're gonna have a knockoff for everything. There, there's no way you can stop it. It's right. gonna always be in mass production because somebody's always wanting it cheaper. Oh yeah. You know, nobody wants to pay the full price. Who does? I don't. I do pay the full price, but do I want to? No, oh no. no. Well, I can go get the cheaper brand, but some things I got to have the real thing. Like you know, oh. cer certain things you just can't eat. Yeah. Cheap. Man. You know, now you can eat cheap hot dogs. 
The chicken I know, beef. I know. You know? I'm a hot dog. So I'm from Detroit. So you got to have hot dog. Which I got to have Kogel brand or Nathan's. It's got to be all beef. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm a, I'm a see, hot dog. I can eat the S bar. Yeah. Yeah, do you eat this? You don't no, eat pork. I don't eat pork. Y'all eat S bar. I know y'all do. <laughs> CDs and Piggly Wiggly. And, uh, <laughs> I know what you're talking about. I know. I'm like, shout out to Super Mario. Super Mario coming to your pick five. Yeah, pick five. Yeah. 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 You're going to have those S-Bop for the birthday party because that's what you oh, give your yeah. kids. You ain't yeah. going to buy no Nathan's for them kids. Not at all. They ain't even important. No, they, they ain't even taste them. They eat <laughs> them so fast. Oh, 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 oh. Can I just pull that? They ain't even minute. They don't care. They want to get on a bouncy house. Yeah. You know? If I have a big barbecue, I will straight up go go to Save Life and get pizza. Yeah, fries see? And cook it that day. They cook it that day. Yeah. That's it. That's okay. it. You but, I, but you know what? I'm fine with it. As long as it tastes yeah. good and the season just right, yeah. I mm-hmm. won't know the difference. I, I, mm-hmm. I, I, I've done competition barbecue. I smoke them. Okay. I got a file cabinet smoker. Okay. There's a big file cabinet. I smoke all my meat in. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, I got a smoke. I need to try to get rid of them myself. What you, what you got? Yeah, I'm checking it out. I'm okay. smoking. Yeah, I need to get rid of it. ASAP Rocky. We're going to talk after yeah, yeah, yeah. just talk to the white person. Yes. Yeah. See, oh, there yes. we go. If y'all was in the right place at the right time. Yeah. <laughs> Not only did you sell a smoker, <laughs> you, you slick started the side I, I I I okay. Yes. Oh. I'm looking behind a truck. Which was. Hey, and it's big, too. Yeah. It's big. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got these K-Cole yeah. ribs. What you say? <laughs> now you got the K-Cole ribs. The got the K-Cole filters. Mm-hmm. The letter K, not the knockoff, not the K-A-Ys, okay? Ain't no carcinogens on this. Uh, yeah. No, no carcinogens. No, ain't no carcinogens on these. They, they straight, you know? <laughs> Filtered out, you know? It's ten dollars for a five piece of What you say? Yeah. Didn't get the picture. Oh, some wings. Hey, these take cold wings. These take cold wings. wings. These come with glitter on top of them. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> what you think? The sauce is called cold hearted. What you say? Cold hearted. And you know, they say I'm cold hearted. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. you know, yeah. that, that works out perfectly. For every 20 wings. <laughs> You can go see her at the doctor's office. She'll check your blood pressure. Check your blood pressure. I don't right. say I can give you all that. Yeah. You got them with the card punch. Did so you I want to try to go for this. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't getting no, you ain't getting no Get you them all the kids. <laughs> we feed you and we take care of you. Yeah. Yeah. You're sick. There you go. Making sure you still healthy after you eat. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We need you healthy to keep buying our there shit. There you go. We can't kill y'all. Not just yet. You know? Right. So, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> they grilling they grilling it and they gonna check you to make sure your blood what pressure you is good. Yes. If what we feed you the pork, we're gonna check your blood pressure, make sure it don't get too high, give you That's prescription pills yeah. to take get that blood pressure back. Oh, we can check that A1C. Yeah, blood sugar. Yeah, yeah, okay, we're gonna help gotcha. you out. We're gonna help you out. But for every thirty wings and combo you get we can give you a shot of Trulicity. <laughs> <laughs> we keep the A1C down. Keep it down. Keep it down. Yeah, you ain't got to worry about it. That's it. There you go. We're going to put Trulicity in a cold drink. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. cold mm-hmm. drink. There you uh-huh. go. As y'all see, the K cold drink. See, because see, Nashville's not Nashville anymore. It's actually, see, y'all can't see. K cold bill. So K-Cobill. yeah, I sell these bottles too. I had I had shirts got K cold bill. Oh, yeah. So you know, I'm taking over you for the for the nine nine. Is there is there a K cold bill album? You know, I'm I'm, I'm trying to figure that out. Uh, I'm gonna be No, no, my husband. Don't bring them there, but I can say that my husband. You know, that's my husband. You know, that's my husband. That's my husband. That's my husband. Oh, now you know he's in my magazine. You know, oh, so my picture of me and Nelly, they stay up. Nelly. <laughs> <laughs> That's all Nelly. Don't y'all get mad now. You know, it's all good. This is, the, this is the second person this month that's been on Nelly. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, he's mm-hmm. such a fine specimen. <laughs> that, I was going to do a push-up. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Uh, yes. I better not be like, hey, what's up? I'm better at all. 
It, it, that's it was not shocking. Going down, down, baby. I always thought he was short. That's why I kind of liked it. It was my first rap album. Okay. Shit, I knew I was going to be short. I didn't want to see. I want to see me win. What would you say? <laughs> I, I'm short too, so I can't, you know. I want to yeah. see another yeah. People and, and person be like, I thought I, I was tall. I was Snoop Dogg. Yeah, that's the heel. Yeah, that's the heel. Yeah, that's the heel. It knocked me up a notch or two. So. Ain't nothing. Me, I love short women. Yeah. Ain't nothing better than you. You meet somebody in the club, you bring them home, and then you, they kick them heels off, and you're like, oh, I got a shorty here. <laughs> and I'd be excited as yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I didn't even know it was a thing. I didn't know it was a thing, you know. Yeah. No, cool. This a right. compact car. This ain't no truck. <laughs> <laughs> shit, I'm about to save some gas on this motherfucker. <laughs> you know? So, yeah. Oh, That's goodness. Mm, 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 mm. Was so, one line. What's the What's the next move? So the next move for Keiko, uh, is, like I said, as I continue to grow, um, trying to do some reality shows, uh, trying to get in that uh, rap as, as well as working on this music. I got some music coming up. Uh, hopefully with the next couple months, I have some videos um, that I'm working on too as well. So I'm, I'm trying to get more of my stuff out there. Who's, who's shooting your videos? Well, I got a guy. Okay. But... It, one guy can shoot one, another guy can shoot another. Right, you know, right. it's always room to add to the right. mixture. You know what I'm saying? But I don't have nobody particular. Um, yeah. It's just a couple people. People have uh, referred to me because right. I have not really. Um, I want to be your video guy at your photo shoot. Well, you know, we all can always can talk. You know, you can you can get the behind the scenes of, of putting the magazine together. <laughs> take that video. Put your music. We on already know. To we promote and then throw it on your That's why we got. We got. We got to always stay top. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I want to see yes. like because you actually have a lot of other models in here too. Like to try. To I get. Yeah, I have a lot of models. I work with a lot of models all from all over the place. And it's not just me. K. Cole, the magazine is not just K. Cole. I want y'all right. to understand well, that. It's man. also other models from other cities that are being my magazine, as well as uh, stories that I write because mm -hmm. I also write. Um, and there just be little things in there. Uh, one of my stories, the best one I wrote was Money, Power, and Respect. Uh, and I didn't even bring that magazine, but that was one of my favorite ones. Where I talked about women having money, the power, and the respect. Right. Uh, and, you know, like Lil' Kim, you know, from right. way back when. Uh, that was what it was. Yeah. So, you know, that was my focus. But I do uh, write on those. So I like to have the behind the scenes. And it's important to document those behind the scenes so you can later come back and say, Hey, this is a recap of what happened. Yeah, but uh, so. I'm just very interested in, in, in the shoot, but yes. also the writing. Yes, because like, I saw yes. you uh, did an interview yes. and everything. Yes, I, I do from, from Power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm too happy all over the place. I've been doing all kind of stuff. So yeah, you, you have to take those opportunities when you, they come. You get to. Yeah. You got to make sure you stay uh, valid. It, you know what's what's yeah. going on. You know, and like I said, mm -hmm. for me, that's why I like to do it all, not just one part of I want to be a part of all the processes and then I get to pick and choose which process I like and which one I don't right. you know and I don't have to be just stuck saying oh I just did this and I don't know anything else right. you know right. you know I mean be fed bullshit and believe it so I, like I always throw ideas out to my entrepreneurs okay have you considered maybe using one page mm -hmm. for your magazine mm -hmm. and doing like maybe a continuous drama I could and then people would, that would encourage them to buy Older ones yes. to catch up, or, you know what I mean? Great idea. Something to think about. Let you kind of put out some of your creative yes, you know, story, yes, yes, storytelling yes. and a yes. fiction. You know what? Now, I take that. <coughs> one thing I do do is, I think it's in every one of them, it's called, uh, let me show it real quick. That was another podcast idea. It is I called. Love the quality on that thank you. It's called Pillow Talk. I'm trying to see if I can get to it. Oh yeah, uh, I've seen Pillow, Pillow Talk, Talk is a yeah. it's a it's a reoccurring thing that we have Pillow Talk uh, kind of about you know some kind of sex scene. Okay. So this is the one. Oh, is, that, what, is that what I'm seeing? Yeah, it's it's a reoccurring story sure. I tell. Yeah, yeah. I can read this yeah. If y'all can Pillow see Talk. over here, oh, not over here, over here. The pillow talk, yeah, and it, it should be one in there. Yeah, there it, is. It's okay. probably in all of them. So was that? Wait a minute, was that an OnlyFans? Yeah, I have an OnlyFans. I love OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah. And then on my pillow talk, I also put in some of my people from Instagram and their little uh, pictures right. from on Instagram. People were sending, you know, saying little things to me or whatever. Right. But, and I also do a cross proposal in every one of them. Yeah, so and it tells them, yeah, I got OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah. That's a wonderful. Check out my OnlyFans for yeah. sure. But uh, but yeah. This is just stuff about me. So when you do the crossword post, I hey, I did a, a drawing one time and gave away a um, trip to Vegas. Oh, nice. Yeah, and uh, a young lady won that. So and it was real. It wasn't no bull crap. It was actually a, a guy I was working with 
that donated to me and said I could do it as a raffle. Nice, did. So nice. And for them, that's tax write off. Yeah, it it's what it was. A lot of people you don't know? realize that the and businesses will business donate. Businesses will donate. If, if you're a worthable cause, they will definitely donate. And if they see something in you uh, worth, you know, donating to that, they love yeah. to. So. A lot of them guys, they got to make them that money disappear before tax yeah, season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If y'all can give it to me and my only fans, I, I'll take it. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Write it off. There you go. Yeah. There you I go. Mean, what would you even file that under? Huh? I'm. I don't know, but I'm yeah. sure somebody can come up Donation, with something. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, they'll come investing. up with something. Investing. It's an investment. Yeah, it's always an investment. Help yeah. keep your marriage together. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> oh, this is what are you yeah, looking at? Yeah, yeah. The drama. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, mm. so I mean, you know, like I said, I, I have a couple of different things. Uh, subscribe to Cake Home. You know, yeah, you got to subscribe. You got to get in there and, and get the magazines because they're important. Like I said, they're not just about me. They're about so many other things that's going on uh, with uh, other women and things going on with the world, you right. know. So it, it keeps you keeps you going to read a, a magazine every now and then. Just put down the phone and read something. Right, you right. Know? That's what so, I'm talking about. If you think about doing yeah. maybe like a coffee table book. I could. Yeah, yeah, I bet you have enough good. content. Yeah, it, I really that could. That you wouldn't even have to produce. You yeah, just have to I just really compile could. it. Yeah. You just compile it. Put yeah. it in. Great idea. Great yeah. idea. A lot of things to think about. You guys, yeah. oh my God. Y'all, y'all are full of knowledge. Hey, I got it. That's why I'm always ready to yeah. go do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then you get mad and yeah. calm down. No, we just had eight great ideas. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. are we going to do? Need it going for sure. But no, I, I, I'm mm-hmm. so thankful that I was able to come in here and even talk about my magazines uh, and talk about my uh, music and, and all the things that I'm doing as far as uh, K-Co. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because once again, you don't always get the opportunity to sit down with people that are a genuine like you guys. You okay. know, that, that uh, really, when you sit down with you, uh, you don't have to force it. It's kind of like, okay, I'm, I feel good sitting here. Right. You know, it's not no, I, I was nervous coming. I'm not going to lie because I had never mm-hmm. sit down with you guys. You mm-hmm. know, I, I, And I know you, but I, I didn't know him. Right. So I know you, but I don't know you. You right. know what I'm saying? So it was kind of like, I was kind of feeling a little sick earlier. <laughs> like, oh my God, I got to do this podcast. Oh. They gonna, you know, because I'm used to sitting with women. I'm right. not going to tell a lot. I sit with women and it's, you know, when you were women, it's, girl it's, talk. Like, it's like girl talk. Girl talk you know? yeah. And then I'm seeing between two men, it's like, oh my God, how is this? <laughs> so, anyway, then I had to bring my, my crew over here, y'all. They see them both saying. Shout out to the crew over there. there. Hey. And then LeBronca, and mm-hmm. Brad, they came with me, and all them too. Um, but Will Smith, they got a red table. I got a red booth. You got a red booth. We 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 we yeah. won't even, we'll even uh, acknowledge the month of August. Yeah, there you go. There you go. But I, I just want you to know that I do appreciate it, and you guys are awesome. Uh, and just talking to you guys has really uh, opened up my mind to a whole lot more avenues that I didn't even know existed. Okay. So uh, I appreciate that. Sure. Yeah, well, I got some stuff when this camera go, cause look, we can't talk about too much. Yeah, I know, you know, you know. Hey. No, they get, they get, they, they get, they get ahead of us. Yes, then we got to tell them to beat them to get yeah. done. You know, like, tell them walking you to the door, the t-shirt is made. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what you it's said? It's awful. What you said? That's okay though. The only, the only thing that keeps is keeping me calm is I know that anybody watching know I have the capability to make a filter. That's, that's yeah, okay. oh, oh. <laughs> if they knew how to make a I don't know, man. Chandler could be watching. Yeah. Yeah. Chandler had it, bitch, yeah. man. Hey, what's right. Chandler? Chandler had hey. it made. My boy Chandler, boy, I tell you. The <laughs> days I had with Chandler, we got to sit down Chandler sometime. You know, he's got his own show, too, now. Oh, really? He, his is on the radio. Chandler, you got to have me on your show now. You know that, right? If you watching, I know you better be. Uh, you got to have me on your show. So, yeah. There you go. Well, um, you gave us the information. Most yeah. stuff we can find from your link tree yeah, off your yeah, Instagram. Yeah, Tell yeah, me your yeah. Instagram again. Okay, K Cole D Model. So it's K C O L E T H E Model M O D E L. No space in between. Um, everything on there is my link tree to everything that I have. If you go in my bio, uh, and I always say go to that because I have so many things out there. Even I forget sometimes. I be like, people like, what is your Oh, let me think about it. You know yep, what I'm saying? Yep. So uh, it's best to go on and then you pick and choose what you want to see and what you don't want to see. Absolutely. Because once again, I have a whole tree of, I don't even know how many items is even on there, probably about 
12 or 13 things you can look at uh, this part of K. Cole and what she got going on. So. That's what's up. That's yep. work right there. What you said. Yeah, that is grinding. Yes. And I, I truly appreciate you coming on the Mothership with yes. uh, the Who That Podcast. Yes, yes. I would like to have you come back. Yes, I would love to come back. Okay, I would good. love to come back. Good. We yes. can, uh, instead of just an introduction, maybe we can... Pick your mind. But you pick a, maybe one day come and do a look, uh, do one of my songs. Yeah, yo, yeah. If you get your video shot, and okay, everything, okay. we can air the video. Okay. We can do a concert. Like yeah, we can, like, like a little quick look, look. Yeah. yeah. Let me tell you, if we would have known during the pandemic, we yeah. known each other. Yeah. I would have gladly set you up a digital yes, concert. Yes. Yes. Uh, green screen yes. on the beat. Yeah, man. Then you, uh, yep. We got this though. We yeah, this. did it. We could have did outfit changes in between. You know what I mean? There you go. We on the beach for there the first set, but we on the moon yeah. for the second yeah, set. Yeah, yeah, there you go. go. But we, we can always throw something in there. Yeah, so we'll definitely out. when we come back. It'll be more to come from K. Cole on, on the Who That podcast. Good, most Good. definitely. Yeah. All right, I like to hear that. Yep. Wait. Oh, you got anything? I, yes. Go ahead. What? 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 what uh, I have nothing. Go. You sure? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's told me. No, no, no. All right. So make sure you guys uh, check out the merchandise. This is not on the merch site. This is specifically for us. Oh, so, yeah. Ooh, so. Nice, nice, nice. But you can go support. Yeah. Yeah. You know for what sure. I mean? If you want to, we have a lot of uh, different stuff. We have a bunch of new shit coming up. We the pimping jackets. The, the who that, yes. that the seventies style who that logo in purple and green. Yes. Yes. Pink and purple, pimping colors, y'all. Yes. Yes. Y'all get that. Bomber yes. jacket. The yes. pimping colors. The pimping, the pimping for now. <laughs> so, so make sure you go check out the merch. Uh, make sure you um uh, oh for those that are into the audio drama, our season two is about to uh be uploaded. That's the only audio though. So if you are not on the audio drama, if you are a listener uh, through the headphones, through uh, iTunes or Google, that type of thing, you might want to go ahead and tap in. We're about to put a bunch of new episodes up just for the audio side. Uh, going along with the audio drama of our adventures on the mothership and crash landing on Earth and everything. So make sure you go and uh, subscribe, s- subscribe, stars, review, all that good stuff. Yeah. But uh, when you do that, oh, and... Keep a lookout coming up because we have a musical performer in a week or so. Right. Uh, so with that, I want I really want y'all to tune in for two him. Weeks, two, two weeks. Yeah, because two weeks because we talked about him. If you remember on previous episodes, uh, we talked about a guy named Trevor, and he's actually going to come on the show. So y'all tune in for that because it's going to be really cool. Yeah, I think next that. week. Um, China Doll will be on to talk about. Oh, that's, my oh, yeah. that's my girl. That's my girl. New release for her movie. Yes, yes. that's my yes. girl. Hey, so, yes. China what Doll. Uh, not again, Justin. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, So yeah. China so, Doll will be here next week. Next week, y'all. So make sure y'all tune in six o'clock, six p.m. ish. Yes. 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 Until then, stay blessed. Don't stress. Life is just a test. Yes. Who that? Who that? Can't call them hash out. Woo! <laughs> uh, oh, and uh, for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, make sure that you um, go and take care of your examinations. Yes. Yes. Do that, please. Yes. Middle Tennessee, it's that time again. Time to Laugh presents Columbia Got Jokes. Bad Girls of Comedy, November 6th, featuring Cookie Hall. Black people and Mexicans, we don't give a damn how hot gas is. We ain't gonna put but $10 in that motherfucker nowhere. Sweet Baby Kita. But I want y'all to know I'm always acting out and doing what I want to do because I know I'm gonna be in heaven already. And I know a lot of people, like you already know, yes, they serve Publix cakes and champagne and Chick-fil-A biscuits. Randy Scott. November 6th, doors open at 7 p.m. at the Memorial Building. This is an event you don't want to miss. Get your friends and family together for a night of laughs. Time to Laugh presents Columbia Got Jokes, Bad Girls of Comedy. Call for tickets or go to eventbrite.com.